everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Chris Miller's 5th Quest for Zelda Classic Part 6. Today we will wrap up level 6, and maybe we'll attempt level 7 as well. Here we go. Yeah, I want to go backwards a little bit from the Gimdo room here. That's going to take us near the end. We'll go back there shortly. As you can see, I want to go back and grab that key. I like stocking up on them. Just gonna ignore the Dodongos, not gonna kill them again. Once was enough. Just gotta come in this way to grab it. Alright, now we're gonna go back to that Gibdo room and head towards the end. I forgot where the map is in this place. Not that I not that I'm really gonna worry about getting it. It's not necessary, so. I've kinda me me I kinda memorized this place. Blech. Right for stammering and stuttering. Yeah, I forgot to push the block in here and go down the staircase. Turns out the boss key was right here. Epic major fail, TK. Overlooking it the first time. Well, yay, we got it. Now we can beat the dungeon. Screw you, map. I don't need you. Walk through this wall. We. And we gotta kill all the blue dark nuts again in here. This passage will take us towards the boss door. And I know where Seven is, so we'll head straight over there once I'm done here. Seven is probably gonna take up the rest of this video. I think it's another dark nut dungeon, too. I forgot if there's actually whiz robes in there. There might be. Actually, I think 7 might be a Wizard Dungeon. God, I wish I could remember, but I can't. Oh, come on. Line up with me. Oh, I hope I can find the Magic Sword, too, so I can kill these blue Dark Nuts faster next time. Alright, all dead. Let's go down the stairwell. To our doom. And not falling down the stairs to our doom. Alright, now we gotta go over here. And push the block wall, trying to avoid the red bubbles. Go! Stairwell again. Yeah, we're pretty much just bouncing back and forth between passageways till we get to the end. And here we are. Now we go right. And the boss is... Three-Headed Gliok, I believe. Yes. Should be an utter complete joke with the white sword and blue tunic and all these hearts. Let's go for the flawless. And I might be able to get it if that flying head stays away from me. Get away, get away. Go away. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, oh great, I had to drop a negative heart up there. See if I can get around it. No, probably not. God damn it, I picked it up. I thought I could scoot around it, I guess not. Not that it's a not that it's gonna matter much because the Triforce will just heal us up. So I can be as reckless as I want now. Yeah, very unusual getting a regular enemy room right after a boss. This room like had no real purpose. But yeah, Triforce room right here. Level six done. Woo. Didn't find the map, but who cares? I know I probably missed one room. Couldn't find it, so whatever. The main thing is, I got the dungeon item, and I got the Triforce piece. That's all we really want from there. Alright, now we're gonna make a beeline directly to 7, but first I wanna make a pit stop here. We can actually... Yeah, find something very useful. Hey, the blue map! Show this to the old woman. Will do. And now we can finally get a potion. So I'm gonna go into the desert... Uh, wait a minute, where is a uh, potion shop? Actually, I think I might know. I think that green ref area, that, gr that green dock, could probably take us to one. I believe there was a potion shop over there. And since I can afford it, I'm going for it. Throw some red candle fire here, see if we can find a secret. Maybe, I don't know. 
Nope, nothing. Ignoring all the Octorockies and moving on. Whee! Across the water! Into here! And blue map time. Give me a drink! I thought I stood on top of it well. Oh well. Still didn't read me as grabbing it. Had to move up an extra notch. Alright, so we got the blue map and now a pink potion, so we're all set in terms of healing. If we ever need to. Alright, let's see if we can find that magic sword next. I'll feel much better about my chances with level 7. I think we had to come down here and whistle? Because I tried burning a bush and nothing worked with that. Aha! In here? Magical sword! Yay! And we have more than enough hearts, thankfully. I could have gotten this before I did level 6, but whatever. 6 was easy enough. Alright, now we gotta find 7. And actually... Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go back this way. If you can believe it, the magical sword and level 7 are right next to each other. You also got a whistle on this screen. Yep, secret staircase here, level 7. And since I have a key already, I'm going to the left. Alright, we got Like Likes and Zul starting in a blue bubble. And another green dungeon. So, what else does 7 have? A Dig Dogger! Time to kill the Dig Dogger! Magic sword, I can tear things up in like two hits. Well, most things, anyway. Including the Dig Dogger eyes. Yay. So, Dig Dogger guarding nothing, or do we got a bomb? I'm gonna say, probably got a bomb. Or walk through the wall. It was gonna be one or the other. And we got green keys in here. Hooray for all these spare keys, I can make good use of them now. Alright, let me see if there's a walkthrough wall to the... down, let's say, try every wall. Yeah, I might want to bomb everywhere, make sure I don't miss any secrets. I got enough bombs to spare. So here's hoping I can get all of seven done in this part, I should be able to. Wow, that's an odd mix. Fire Tribble and Blue Gorillas. Very unusual enemy combination. Yeah, Fire Tribbles actually flicker. They don't just, uh, split now, which is weird. Well, then again, they've always kind of been like that, I guess. Hmm. Let's see, got anything up here? Nope. Let's go left first, and then we'll go down. Alright, red bubbles. Gonna dodge them and go up here. And it looks like we got rope twos and... Well, actually, actually I think these are rope threes. And we got blue whiz robes. And blue and red bubbles. But Stopwatch just made this room completely easy. Yeah, that's all we came here for, just one extra key. See if we can get out of this room without getting hit by a red bubble. Yeah, you can't push that block, so don't try. Alright, we're gonna go south through the locked door. Kill these gels. Alright, I think we can all I don't think we can bomb to the left. I think we only bomb right. Yep, going this way. And now we got Gibdos, Pole's Voice, and Bubbles. Only the red variant, so we gotta watch out. We got no blue to give our sword back. So make sure to avoid those red ones as best you can. Alright, what do we got in here? 
Maybe dungeon item if we're lucky? Or is it gonna be a passageway? Passageway, we'll come back and check it out later. Walk through the southern wall first. So we got all Zul's in here. Alright, doesn't look like we got a passage in here, so let's continue left. And now we're on over on this end of things. I think level 7 is shaped like one big zero. So you're kind of going in a loop, sort of. I want to go up here, go grab that compass, since we're the other direction now. And I think we can walk through or bomb the left wall. I guess we're bombing it. Alright, over here we got a mix of ropes and gorillas. So I got rope twos. And those green ropes, I guess, are rope threes. Slightly more durable. Okay, we got a secret staircase here. Dungeon item here, perhaps? No, it's another passage. Oh boy, Wizard Hell, let's get out of here. Okay, now we got a traditional level 6 room. Yeah, I can handle it, no sweat though, I got sword beams and the half tile trick. They always keep the wizard ropes underneath you. Alright, that wastes them, and I, now I guess we go north, maybe? I don't know. Let's bomb. Alright, well, we just came out from that room, so... Oh, yep, we're going south, it looks like. Now we got the dongos in here, okay. A chance to restock on bombs is always good. Fight the Dodongo. Boom. And push the block, and are these guys guarding the dungeon item? No, it's another passage. Ugh. Too many passageways. Alright, anything else down here? Bomb down here. Bomb over here. No. Alright, well, I'll come back and check this room out shortly. First, I want to go to the left. Let's see what we got over here. And it looks like we're closing in on the boss, maybe? Got a room full of rope three. And yeah, they can take quite a beating from the magic sword. And we got a passageway in here as well. And oh man, another passage. Sheesh. Stairwells everywhere. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Oh, got another walkthrough wall. Holy smokies. I'm forever going to be stuck in this place, aren't I? That's okay, I just got to remember all the passageways that I've missed and go back and check them later. Alright, got something in here. Yep, another staircase. Gee, are we going to get an item or another passage? Another passage? Come on! Oh, this is getting redundant. Oh, I'm really not liking this dungeon already. Too many ways to go. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna explore this one first. So now we can start narrowing things down a little bit. Alright, where's this one taking me? Hopefully not back to the start, because that would suck. I'm guessing the more obvious ones will take you back to the start, the more obscure ones probably not. Oh god. Yeah, this is new territory for sure. Yeah, I might end up using a potion here. safe spot with these wizard robes. Whew, 
Ooh, okay. Yeah, he's kind of not coming over here to play, is he? You know, I'm going to leave him alive for now. Um, so that way no other blue wizards come back. Let's see what we got over here. Looks like the boss is going to be this way. Alright, good to know. So I know how to get to the boss now. So we got souped up Stealthos 2. And Paul's voice in here with bubbles. And statue shooters. Alright, we'll come back here later. At least I know how to get to the boss. Alright, blue wiz bitch. Time to kill you. See if you drop a map or a compass or what. Oh, well, I already got the compass. Never mind. Hmm. Anything over here, maybe? No. Alright, so this passage leads to the boss. So now I'm gonna go back to the north from that other wizard over on my left. Whatever the hell that was. So, yep, we're gonna go back up. Now I know to come here for the end. Yeah, there was a passage in this room too, but I'll check it out on, in a little bit. I'm gonna come up here first. Hey, map! I didn't mean to wander into that. Stupid ass. Alright, red bubble. I almost got hit by him. Alright, I guess the map is just in here. Unless I can bomb through the north. I couldn't walk through the north wall. I'll try bombing. Yep, we can. Oh, blue lamolas. Eep. Alright, red candle time. At least having the map will actually make this place a lot more a little more bearable. So now I can see what rooms I'm missing and where I need to go. Hey, boss key! Alright. So I can go straight to the end now if I want. Which I might end up doing. Alright, so we can't go that way at all, so good to know. You know what? Since I found the boss and the boss key already, I'm gonna go for it. I'll just come back in the dungeon and find the dungeon item. Let's get this dungeon over with, at least the hard part of it. God, I hope those blue wizard ropes don't come back. In case they do, at least I have a potion. So I can outlast them again. And then I'll never have to worry about coming back this way again. Here's hoping. Okay, push that block and now down the stairwell. Let's go finish this dungeon. Stay gone, blue wizard ropes. Stay gone. Yes. <laughs> Alright, hopefully all the enemies are gone from this room, too, still. Awesome. Alright, let's go beat the boss of level 7, and it is... The Dongos! How anticlimactic is that? Oh, yeah, I got lucky with the smoke. He wandered right in there, so I didn't have to use another bomb. I love getting lucky like that. Oh, there's another room before the Triforce, oh boy. So, the Dongos are kind of like a first boss, so who's the second? It's a blue Aquamentus! Yeah, just try not to let him hit you physically, because it'll probably do a butt-ton of damage. Alright, Harkatainer claimed, and that will do it for level 7. Yay! At least for the Triforce piece of the boss key. We still gotta come back in here to find the dungeon item. Or items. So there could be two. At least the Triforce part is cleared up. Alright, we're gonna go back in momentarily. Let's whistle. And let's go see what else we missed. Alright, I'm gonna go check out the... Over here. Yeah, we got some whiz ropes at the start. Nothing too challenging. Like I say, use the half tile trick. These blue whiz robes are pretty much putty in your hands. Boom! Dead. Yay. And I don't think we do anything there, so let's go over here. 
Okay, we have to stuff those 2.5. Not a terribly tough enemy. Uh, let's see, I think we got bomb up here too, I think. And we got more whiz robes. Oh, I thought there was only one there for a second. Gotta love how those yellow whiz robes can pile on top of each other like that. Damn it. Had to hit him when he was about to fire. Dummy. Statue shooter is annoying. And red bubble could be annoying. Die. Alright, two different ways to go. Let's go north first. Okay, a couple options are presented to us here. So, I think we got bomb over here. And we'll worry about grabbing that key shortly. Go north, north of the roadway. How about you go south, south of the border, and die via hell! Boomerang hell! Let's see, can we go down here, maybe? Yeah, I want to bomb these rooms, make sure I don't miss anything. Alright, nothing. So, just an old man chilling in there. So, I guess we're gonna go to the right now. Hope these whiz bitches stay dead. I think with the bubble in there, they will. All right, now we got buddies. Yay! Chance to reheal, to re replenish my lost health. But instead, I'm getting a crap ton of money. So yay there, I guess. And walk through this wall. All right, so it looks like we've pretty much filled in the map on this side of things. Wondering if we can maybe push the block here, maybe we'll get a dungeon item. Alright, gotta push this one, push that one, push. Uh, let me see. Oh, wait, I think we got a. Right. Got a key over here, I think. Yep. Okay, key. Now, can we go up here? No. Alright, I think that's gonna about do it for that sector of the dungeon, so let's go back. There are a couple more rooms we missed we need to cover. Sucks I lost all my hearts, but it's alright. I mean, there is a fairy pond not far from here. I could probably just leave the dungeon and go get, get healed. Here again, Dick Dogger, right? He's dead, so we go left now. There are a couple passageways I didn't bother checking out, and I need to go hit them now. Because they're probably gonna take me to those two rooms that I can't reach. And that's probably where the dungeon item is. Just hope I find the proper one. The others probably take you backwards. I know we already went to the left, so there's nothing to do over there. It's a dead end. I gotta watch myself. And just to be safe, I'm gonna heal. I'm not afraid to waste money right now. Hurry up! <laughs> just wanted to speed up the healing. Takes forever. Alright, going down. Downtown. Alright, I think there was a stairwell in this room. I want to check that one out first. I don't know if it's this one or the other one that takes us to those two rooms we didn't check yet. I'm guessing the one is here. Alright, now we're going to go in here and check this passage out. And this will take us 
Back here, crap. So that's not the right way. So, process of elimination, we've... That staircase is, um, nothing. Thankfully, it didn't take us too far back. So I know never to go down that one again. So we're gonna ignore all the enemies in here now. Or, well, they're already dead, so never mind. We through here. Well, got lucky it didn't thief my sword. Oh crap! Get away! Away from the wall, red bubbles! Come on, I need to get in there. Oh god! Yeah, I'd rather take the trap hit. Alright, blue bubble and like likes. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Stun your ass. Whee! And now they go into this black void. Yes, more bombs. Very happy to have them. Because now I get to see if I'm missing anything down here. Now we go bomb the north, make sure there's nothing there. Alright, nothing. Staircase, let's go. Dungeon item, where art thou? Oh, god. Barely evaded that mess. I wonder if I could actually bomb to the north, I gotta try. Out of the doorway, come on. Move it. Wish I could swing my sword, but I can't. And these blue wizard robes got me pinned here, so I'm just gonna leave and come back later. Hmm. Alright, you die. Alright, before I go into this stairwell, let me go up here first. Die. <laughs> yeah, the blue whiz bitches are gone. Now let's see if there's anything up here. No. And I don't know if we can go down, but I'll try bombing. I got extra bombs, so let's go for it. Oh, I can! Oh, right, that takes me towards the boss. Oh, uh, no, no, it takes me somewhere else, doesn't it? Yeah, it was that other room that took me. Oh, damn it. Go over here. Yeah, that passage, I think, with the ropes, that probably takes me backwards. And this is a not-so-obvious passage, so I'm guessing it's taking me to those last two rooms I missed. Because that fire triple room was what took me to the end. This probably takes me to the dungeon item, I'm hoping. Yep! To the two rooms I missed. Perfect. And after I get the dungeon item, we gotta cut it off. Yeah, that's gonna lead me to the one-way shutter room with those red bubbles, and don't want to go that way. All right, all regular. Well, oh, ooh, we got buffed regular wizard robes. Or not. Or maybe they are. Or some of them are. I don't know. Those yellow wizard robes are a bit abnormal. Some of them are more buffed than the others. Yep, and here's the wand, as expected. Alright, and that's gonna do it for level 7, folks. We're pretty much done. So I'm gonna end game, exit the dungeon, and we'll call it an LP part. So yay, we got 7 done in a nick of time. Alrighty, Rue, folks. I'm gonna stay over here out of the Moblin's range. I should be safe no matter what. Anyways, folks, stay tuned for Let's Play Legend of Zelda. Chris Miller's 5th Quest for Zelda Classic, Part 7, when we'll make our way to level 8. Anyways, see you then, peoples!